Hello, I'm Xenocow, and this is the first episode in a series of videos all about YOLOL. I'll explain the code itself while providing some useful examples along the way to help you put it in context. After watching this series, you'll be able to get your ship running smoothly, efficiently, and with all sorts of bells and whistles that up the cool factor. Let's get started. The basic purpose of YOLOL is to control the various devices on your ship. You can do this via device fields. If you look at the device and press U, or if you're in the Starship Creator, click on it and then open the Properties window. You can see all the device fields for that device. Device fields have both a name and a value. The name is how we can access that device from a YOLOL script, and the value is the information that the device holds with that name. Accessing device fields via YOLOL doesn't even require any programming. If you want to open a door, you can name both the button's button state and the door's door state fields the same name. When they have the same name, they are linked, and editing the button's value, pressing the button, will change the value of the door slider, opening the door. Another simple example of how this can be used is to read how much propellant you have left. If you name a progress bar with the same name as the field that is by default gas network stored resource, let's just name it gas, then you can see how much propellant you have left at a glance. Before getting to how to access these values via a script, let's take a look at the basics of YOLOL chips. YOLOL chips come in three varieties, basic, advanced, and professional. Most applications of YOLOL only require the basic chips, but some that need more advanced functions need the advanced or professional chips. YOLOL chips have 20 lines that can hold 70 characters each. The program cycles through every line, taking one-fifth of a second for each line. Because of this limited space, sometimes programs have to be split amongst multiple chips, or the code condensed down to where it is hard to read if you want it to run quickly. To access a device field, we can simply write the name of it with a colon in front of it. So, now we can open and close the door by assigning a single equal sign, a 1 or a 0 to the door slider. As you can see, the lines can also be used to add pauses between actions. The closer together two lines are, the smaller the delay between them. While we're on the topic of line delays, lines can be jumped with the help of the go to function. Just write go to and then the line number you want the chip to run next. This is particularly helpful if your program is only a couple lines long, so you don't have to wait for all the other lines to be read before your program runs again. Let's see how it works with our door. Now we can go back and forth much quicker. Now that we can assign values to the device fields, let's extend that to combine two device fields. We can do this by using operators. The simple ones that are sufficient for most things are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So, for example, if we want to add one word to another, we can write our text is equal to our text plus a space plus extra go to one. and then subtract that word, the first time it shows up in the whole value, by using the minus sign instead. To make this more concise, we can simplify adding a value to an already existing field with the compound operators, add assign, subtract assign, etc. These work for number values too, just like you would expect them to. Variables are like device fields that live just inside a YOLAL chip. As such, they have a name and a value. You can create a variable by writing a name and then assigning it a value. Notice that we do not put a colon before the variable name. We want to show a message all over the ship on text panels when a door is open. We'll first name the variables message1, then give it the value the door is wide open, and message2 with the value the door is closed. These would be too long to write every time we want to assign them to different text panels, but with the variables, we can set all the text panels in one line. Also, see how we are using the button to control which line is run? When the door is closed, the value is 0, so we can go to 2 plus door to stay on the first text controlling line, then do the same on the second line for when the door is open. All the while, we are setting all our text panels to the variables we created on line 1, and able to do so in just two lines. With these tools, device fields, line delays, go-tos, basic operators, and variables, you should be able to do 50-90% to of all tasks you'll likely try to use YOLOL for. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you learned lots. If you have any questions about YOLOL, there are lots of helpful people ready on the Cylon or main Starbase Discord servers or on the Starbase forum. I'll link below. Please don't forget to unsubscribe. Worryingly, I've been getting more and more subscribers lately despite asking for people to unsubscribe after every video. Anyways, this was Xenocow, signing off.